next before Mike Jacobs from Oxford died of cancer on New Year's Eve. He'd always dreamed of being a famous singer-songwriter. Earlier this month, that dream became a reality when his song Stay reached number two in the iTunes chart. His son Josh was the driving force behind that single and I'll be speaking to him in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at Mike in action. Josh joins me now in the studio. Josh, obviously, you're so emotional in the video and obviously yeah. emotional to watch again. Um, how was it to see your dad's dream become reality? Unbelievable. Like, it was not only a dream come true for him, but also for us. You know, to see him so unbelievably happy before he passed away it was just incredible. We never got to see him happy. He was always sort of having chemo or he was ill. And then this happened with the Jeremy Vine and it being played on Zoe Ball as well. And he literally, it blew him away. Oh, a proper joyous moment in his life. It was incredible. It was absolutely incredible. So tell us how the single came about. Um, well, he wrote it 30 years ago and me and my sister were the only ones that ever heard it. Like he'd play it in the back of his car. He'd have other songs, but this was one of them that he'd play in the back of the car. Me and Lauren would sing away and we knew all the words. Cut to 30 years later, I was like, Dad, you need to get one of these songs out there. You know, you need to get the confidence because he never had the confidence to do it. Um, so he finally agreed to do it and we just started recording it. It took six months though, because he was so ill, we had, he missed recording sessions and um, couldn't, it just wasn't well enough to do it. So even just completing the song was an achievement. So talk to me about the emotion you felt as it went up to the charts and up to number two, because yeah. that must be like a real like wave for you. There's nothing, I can't even explain the feelings. Like I've never felt anything like that before. I've been happy in my life, but then to, to have this overwhelming sense of achievement for dad, and like, I was so proud of him. I was so proud of the song. I was so proud of what we'd achieved together. And I just, I just couldn't believe it. And there's, you know, not only did the song get up the charts, we'd inspired thousands of people with the story and dad had inspired thousands of people with, you know, his tenacity to keep going to record it. It was just, the whole thing was just mind blowing. And what do you think your dad would have said if you'd been around to see what happened? He wouldn't believe it. He'd be like, <laughs> no, 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 this isn't happening. Is this a wind up? Are we on punked or something? <laughs> he really would. He just, he's that kind of person. He just, he didn't, just didn't quite have the confidence to believe in himself. So he would, he's sitting up there now with a whiskey, just thinking, what is going on? Oh, you know? oh Josh, it's, it's such a great thing to have done. Thank you so much for coming in and talking to us about Thank it. Thank you, cheers. Thanks. Thanks.